is the tutorial for map building. First, connect the charging pile to the power. And the light on the pile will turn red. Now push the robot to the charging pile. On the robot management platform, create a building for your robot. You basically need to put in some information here, including the building name, type, address, and the, the number of floors. Then enter the brand list to create a brand, enter the name of the brand. And then go to the store list to create a store. You also need to input some basic information including store name, type, building, and address. Click device management here and add to bind your robot as a number to this store. On the mapping platform, click create button to select the robot and the floor. Fill in building name as the number, floor and map area. Click the arrow on the right to open the control board. Open remote image and then open remote control and click start mapping. We suggest to set the charging power location first. Put in some basic information of the charging pile, especially the robot SN number. As you can see, the red spot here is the charging pile location. Now start mapping. By clicking the down arrow, you can detach the robot from the charging pile and use the left and right arrow to rotate the robot. After that, we can control the robot to go by clicking on the map. As you can see from the camera or the map, there's a spacious area here, so set the red point here which gives the robot the direction where it's heading to. We're now scanning this office area, there are people standing nearby, and it's a narrow way but the robot can maneuver to walk through it. And there's no need to worry about hitting obstacles, the robot can automatically avoid it. As we continue clicking on the map, we are getting the robot going. We have now entered the corridor. The trajectory is displayed on the map in the blue line. The dark grey lines are the walls and the green area is the extension area of the wall. The glass door cannot be scanned so it is the passable area on the map, but we can set virtual walls later. The corridor is a straight line area, we'll just need to keep on going. We turned left here at this junction. The key to scan the map is to create closed loops. After the robot's trajectory comes into a closed loop, the map will be automatically calibrated to correct the errors. We can also rotate the robot here at the junction to calibrate the map so that any tiny inaccuracies will be adjusted.
Here at the junction, we have created another loop. Just try to create loops as far as possible, which is better for the quality of your map. As you can see, we have some obstacles on the path, but the robot has avoided them all. We came back to the charging pile again. Click Finish Creating Map. Close Remote Control and Remote Image. Click Cloud Sync to upload this map to the cloud. And after this, we can start to edit the map, set some track lines, virtual walls, and points to the map. Here on the left side, we can select some tools. The first one is used to set walls or tracks. We have set some virtual walls to prevent the robot from getting into the area. We also need to add points using the third button. As for disinfection robot, we need to add disinfection points. And if it's delivery robot, we have to create some other types of delivery points such as the room or the table number. After we have set the points, we can use the virtual track line to connect the points together. In the strict mode, the robot will be traveling according to this track. You can click the edit button to modify the angle of the point by turning the direction of this little red arrow. If you have maps on more than one floor, add a standby point. Make sure the angle of the standby point is opposite to the direction of the charging pile point. After editing, don't forget to synchronize the map to the cloud. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.